Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your July 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in love. Okay, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, um, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you need to take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Cancer, Cancer, what are your blocks? What are Cancer's blocks and challenges in love? What are Cancer's blocks and challenges in love for July, 2022? July 2022, July 2024, I'm sorry. Maybe you're dealing with a situation that goes back all the way to 2022, okay? So tell me about uh, Cancer here. What are Cancer's blocks and challenges for, Ju uh, for July 2024? Yeah, I don't know why I said 2022. I hope I didn't do that for my other videos. <laughs> Let's see. We have support, lean on your inner circle during this time. Okay. Seems like you're being asked to talk to people in and around you to gain some sort of support or some sort of help here. You know, something where it's, you know, these individuals could be supporting in your healing journey and your healing process right now. Could be a situation that, you know, some of you guys could have made the biggest or the most difficult decisions of your life here. And here's the thing, Cancer. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're staying in the situation here where there were financial challenges here, okay? I feel like it was the other person that you were dealing with here, or you know, not just one person, but you have a tendency to step into relationships where you perhaps financially support somebody here. You know, someone's finances are not doing well. And here's the thing, I feel like you might have a tendency to support, support to support someone because I feel like you're yearning, yearning and longing for love here, and I feel like this is sort of like a learned behavior from a parent here. Like you were taught, perhaps if you were to, you know, help someone out in a financial way here, buy things for people, you know, pay for things here, you know, you that's how you'll find love. But also, you're giving so much of yourself as you do that, and you're not getting anything back in return. It creates an energetic imbalance. Actually, in a way, it's self-inflicting karma. You know, um, it's good that you are a very caring person. You're a very giving person, but it's about trusting your intuition and using your discernment of who to give that to. Whether you give it to the right people or the wrong people here is basically trusting your intuition and using your discernment of who to give this energy towards. We have marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union here. Okay. And also acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Very interesting. I feel like someone here is married to their person. I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like someone here is accepting the dysfunction of a relationship that they're in right now. Okay, because I feel like for a long time, someone here has been in denial. Okay, and here's the thing. I feel like your friends, your family, you know, has been trying to sort of like snap you out of the situation here. And one of the things I have learned personally is that in relationships, your friends and your family will see things that you will not see. And I feel like sometimes when your family tells you that they don't like the person that they're with, usually they're right about it. That is from my own personal experiences, okay? You know, and I feel like, you know, in my personal experience, we have a hard time listening to our families and we just kind of go through with, with it because we just want to do what we want to do. And yes, you know, that is the best way to learn from your experiences is to go through it the hard way. But, you know, if I were to look back on my situations, you know, the warning signs that my family told me and my friends told me about my exes, I, when I look back, I would have, I would have listened. Yeah. So I wouldn't have gone through these 
this, these miserable experiences that, that I went through personally, but also in a, in a way there's a plus side because, because it provided me with the knowledge and wisdom on how to deal with these types of situations in the future, you know? So what else do we have for cancer? What else does cancer need to know, look out for, work on? And I just want to see if there's anyone new coming towards you guys, if you guys are single here. Okay, what else do we have for, for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for cancer. Okay, cancer, we have six of swords. We have the hierophant here. Okay. I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys are connecting with your moral, your values here, your integrity, what you're doing here. Does this align with you as a person? Does this align with you, uh, 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 who you are? I do feel like you being caring, you being nurturing, you being giving here, that is who you are, you know? And there's nothing wrong with that. But the point is, is to trust your own intuition and use your discernment of who you give that energy to, basically. Okay? The higher fin here. Taurus energy with the three of wands here and the five of wands. Seems like there is a situation that you are trying to move on from because there's a lot of conflict here. There's a lot of arguments. I mean, you feel like resentment is starting to build here. Okay? Here's the thing. After a while, I feel, I feel like, of, of course, you're glad to be able to help out someone that you love here. But because of the energetic imbalance that has, it has created, it's kind of like, you're like, you know, what about me? You know, I haven't gotten anything from this person. This person hasn't taken me out on a birthday dinner. This person hasn't given me gifts or anything like that. You know, you're, you're basically sort of like, in a way, you're losing out here. Now, perhaps you're kind of like, you know what? I don't want anything in return from this person. I am helping out this person from the kindness of my own heart here. That is a beautiful thing, but also, Back to my original point is to trust your intuition and use your discernment of who you give that energy to, okay? This is about equal give and take. This is about balance here, okay? And what has happened here, because of that, the universe is stepping up to sort of like blow up your world so, so that things balance out here again here. What's the tower? Aries, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the tower here. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you guys are having some sort of major breakthrough in regards to your relationship that you are in right now because I do feel like someone here, you know, this is also, you know, if someone here is in this energy here, you're also, as you're giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, you're enabling this person to continue to behave this way, you know, to not take responsibility for their own finances here and putting it on you, putting the pressure on you. The Five of Wands here, the Five of Wands, and the sun, Leo energy. Tell me the three of wands here. Three of wands. And the moon. Okay. Some of you guys could also be overcoming your fears here. Yeah, overcoming your fears about leaving this person behind because at the end of the day, you can't worry about this person here. This person has a responsibility to sort of like take care of themselves here. And you guys could be finally coming to that realization here. The Hierophant here and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Six of Swords here and the Nine of Swords. Wow. You feel like you've been walking eggshells with this person. If finances are heavily involved here, it has really stressed you out. And perhaps you guys are on the road of recovery here in your finances here, okay? Because I feel like this person burnt out a lot of your money and also your savings here too. So there, I, I feel like you guys are definitely learning some huge lessons here, Cancer. So Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.